Now, we've been talking a lot about all these great technologies that make our lives easier, but some could claim that it's more important to stop and smell the roses, quite literally, and appreciate nature. Our Im Yoon Hee joins me today to help us do that. So what do we have for us today, Yoon Hee? Today we'll be looking at a photo exhibition. So it seems nowadays, as we get further and further away from nature, more towards technology, we really do need to pause and, like Hyung Young says, stop and smell the roses and appreciate nature. So uh, photographer Sebastio Salgado he went around the world, spent more than half his life capturing these natural wonders of the world and is ready to share them with us along with a powerful message. So take a look. The wonders of nature, the hidden jewels of the world. They're becoming all too distant, almost a thing of the past. Brazilian photographer Sebastio Salgado has realized this alarming degradation of our planet and our ecosystems. And for the past 40 years, he's trekked the natural world, capturing images of the beauty that he hopes to preserve. Known for his huge photo documentary projects, Salgado's most recent opus, titled Genesis, takes the audience to a world that's been here since the beginning. This masterpiece is the work of over eight years and over 30 trips, the bulk of which was spent seeking animals, even by hot air balloon. From animals to the everyday lives of indigenous people, Salgado traveled to the far corners of different continents, compiling what he calls his love letter to the planet. And sticking to his favorite black and white style, he produces powerful images of a world untouched by modern times. At the end of the day, Salgado believes his images will spread awareness of issues of the environment and climate change things that are endangering the sheer existence of the breathtaking wonders he captures in each frame. Hmm, so for those who are not so familiar with the photographer, mm -hmm. and that includes me, forgive my ignorance, but could you tell us a little bit more about him? Yes, of course. So Sebastio Salgado, he was actually born on a farm in Brazil, and that's where he first developed his love and respect for nature. And so he's a photojournalist, so he documents everything and tells a story through his screens. But from the very start, he really decided to stick to his black and white uh, style. So mm. while he travels around the world, you heard in the report, he likes to travel via canoe or via hot air balloon, uh, which is very unusual. He likes to opt out of the airplane, the helicopter means, uh, because he said he really wants to stay uh, at one with nature. And that's actually very dangerous because these journalists who travel to these very extreme climates, they really face very harsh environments. And so mm -hmm. for him, he's really putting himself at risk risk, but he really is determined to get these pictures and to share them uh, with other people because he says he claims that 46 percent of the world is still in its natural state, it, state when it, in Genesis, he claims, which is why he calls the whole project Genesis, and he wants to share that. Mm -hmm. So he's not the only person or not the only photographer who does a similar right. type of job. So what makes him stand mm -hmm. out among mm -hmm. the crowd? So many photographers really do try to contribute to preserving a lot of the culture and animals that are really facing a potential extinction. Uh, but with Salgado, he really um, has very powerful images. So he's actually been claimed by some as one of the most important uh, photojournalists of the 21st century because his images is for his mastery in, in, in a monochrome, this black and white sharp contrast of colors people say it really does just impact people when they see them so he's actually been compared to a very world-class well-known painter Rembrandt because mm -hmm. of the same uh, use of this contrast of images and contrast of emotions mm -hmm. all right you know, uh, maybe I should really check out this exhibition I think it's one of the exhibitions that you brought to us and the one that I really want to mm -hmm. uh, try to go to mm -hmm. for perhaps a weekend outing beautiful gallery all right thank you very much Uni, for today's report my pleasure Thank mm -hmm. you.